So once upon a time, I shot on a variety of different film cameras of different formats. And uh, now I'm down to one. All the others have been sold, but this one I'll keep around forever, I think. Uh, so this is a Olympus Pen FT. Uh, it's a half frame 35 millimeter camera. So it takes your usual roll of 35 millimeter film, the pretty standard uh, film that everybody's used to, and it shoots 72 uh, frames per 36 shot roll. So in this episode, I'll quickly run down the cameras I've had in the past, some images I've taken with them just really quickly, and then we'll talk about this one, the Olympus Pen FT, and why I've chosen this one to go with me uh, till the end of time or till it breaks. Quickly, I'll throw some images up on the screen uh, to show you some images I've taken with previous cameras, and I'll show some images of probably the for sale uh, images of those cameras. Um, but yeah, I've owned quite a few cameras over the years, uh, and then I've finally settled on this one. That should be enough time to throw some pictures up on the screen and we'll get back to this. Why did I choose to keep the Olympus Pen FT for the next forever as my film camera? Uh, well, it comes down to this is actually a 35 millimeter camera that shoots half frame. So it uses the standard 35 millimeter rolls of film that everybody's used to and they're easily acquirable uh, and it shoots half frame on that. So you get two frames from the Olympus Pen FT uh, per 35 millimeter standard frame. So this is essentially an APS-C or crop sensor camera back in film day, uh, but it works on standard film, which is easily accessible. So that means I get 72 shots out of a 36 shot roll, and that's just great value for money. The quality difference is uh, you see a lot more of the grain and that sort of thing, uh, but that doesn't really bother me. If I'm shooting on film, I don't mind seeing a bit of grain. That's just how film goes. And if you're shooting on film and it doesn't look like you're shooting on film, uh, then just shoot digital and save the money. So being a half frame camera, uh, it's very pocketable, nice small size, nice small lenses because of the smaller uh, focal plane size. So I did a lot of research over my time shooting film, uh, looking for the perfect camera to be the one camera to keep on. Um, and I never expected this to be the camera I kept. I had so many cameras before this. Uh, and when I bought this, I was like, wow, uh, I wish I'd bought this way, way earlier, uh, just because it's such a nice camera to use, so pocketable, and having these 72 frames just means you can snap off extra shots and not have to worry about the cost piling up or running out of shots. 72 is quite a lot, you know, uh, double the amount you'd usually get on a 35 millimeter roll of film. The other thing is it's a mechanical camera. So the mechanism, is fully mechanical. The only electronic thing in here is the light meter, uh, and that takes a battery, but uh, it's never really worked on this copy. Uh, so being a mechanical action camera, that means it's gonna be very durable if you're taking care of the mechanics, uh, making sure it's well lubricated, using it every so often to keep the mechanisms moving. So it's not like a camera with an electronic shutter release. Uh, because as soon as you run out of the battery in the camera like that, you can't take shots anymore. And usually they take a pretty specific type of battery. If you can't find it easily, it becomes a pain in the butt to uh, get that camera back up and working. Whereas a nice mechanical camera, it's always gonna work no matter if you've got battery power or not. So the other thing I thought about when I was thinking of which camera system I was going to keep forever was the lenses. Uh, will I use the lenses and other lenses of a good quality that I'm gonna use them forever? And could I use them on my Sony E-mount cameras? And my Sony E-mount cameras being Super 35 or crop sensor, and this being a Super 35 or crop sensor film camera, uh, the lenses perfectly suit. They're also nice and small compared to 35 millimeter full frame SLR lenses. Uh, so that was a bonus. So what lenses have I got to go with this system? I've got a 38 millimeter F1.8, which is like your standard 50 mil type thing on a full frame camera. And the other lens I have for the system is a 100 millimeter f3.5, nice and small uh, because of the f3.5, but that's plenty at effectively 150 millimeters equivalent focal length. Um, and this thing on the end of it is just a E-mount adapter. So the lens is really small on its own. 
and that's just an e-mount adapter from the Olympus Pen FT or Pen F mount. They've obviously both, because they're from film cameras, have nice smooth long focus throws. They also both have a manual aperture and uh, they're clicked. I'm sure I could get them de-clicked uh, down the line, uh, but usually I use these for things where audio is not really necessary to record. So this is a pretty no frills camera. There's no automatic or program mode on it. It's all uh, set your settings, light meter externally because the light meter no longer works in this uh, and just take your shots. It's a very simple camera to use. You've got the shutter speed up the front here from 500 all the way down to uh, one second and then bulb. You've also got ISO on the same wheel. Uh, if you did have a working internal light meter on the camera, uh, or if you just want to remember what uh, ISO your film uh, that you put in was. Uh, so it goes from 400 uh, down to 25. It's got a film counter on the top and it is a full SLR. So you look through and you're actually looking through the lens. There is a very small mirror in there. So it is actually a full SLR. So in terms of focusing aids for this camera, uh, in the center you've got a circle with a lot of micro prism in it. At the back you've got the film advance lever and that does a 180 degree rotation to advance the film a half frame. I believe this is the flash port here on the film roll side. I'm not up with flash on the film cameras so uh, I might be wrong about that one but potentially what that is. You've also got a self timer here. When you've wound it up into the top position you press the front of it and as you can hear winding down. Make sure the film camera's advanced and cocked. And there you go. You can do self-timer shots with this. So that's a general overview of the Olympus Pen FT. Uh, there's a few like this, the Pen FV and the Pen F, uh, all very similar. This is one of the few half-frame film cameras that I found that was actually a true SLR and not a pseudo range finder or something else like that, or a guest focus. Um, this one you can actually get critical focus and you're actually seeing through the lens and it's interchangeable lens. So I can take off the 38 mil f1.8, put on the 100 mil f3.5. So there's also a heap of lenses available for this camera. Uh, so I believe 25 mil is the widest you can go. And then it goes up to like 400 mil on the tele end. But if there's a focal length I need that I don't have in the Olympus mount yet, uh, I can always throw an EF adapter on this and use an EF lens that's fully manual. So as with most of my kit, uh, it comes down to budget and adaptability and just comfort of use. A very comfortable camera to use and quite affordable to use compared to uh, medium format or just a normal full frame uh, film camera. So yeah. So that's the camera I've chosen to be my forever film camera and why I chose it. If you've got a forever film camera or a favorite film camera, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear and I love to chat film. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. It helps get this video out to more people. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. Uh, I've got more content coming like this every week this year. And I'll leave some more videos down below here in case you want to watch some more. But until next time, I'll see you then.